Martin, talk to us about the, the Metro Board uh, is meeting on Thursday, and this whole idea of possibly selling naming rights to raise money for Metro is going to come up. Well, no one wants another fare increase, right? We got a first look at documents that were prepared for the Metro Board. Discussion will get underway on Thursday. Right now, Metro believes only four stations have real potential to sell their naming rights. Metro Center, LaFont Plaza, very busy downtown stations, and two ones that are obvious, right? Navy Yard, because of the Nats Stadium, and also Gallery Place, because of the Verizon Center. So those are the four Metro is eyeing right now. But it will take a vote of the Metro Board to allow this to happen, and it's not going to be popular. Critics in the past, five years ago, and we showed you those, uh, that list of bullet points, pointed to the fact that they don't want corporate Brands, certain riders brands. don't. That's right, riders. Certain ri riders may not want certain brands attached to iconic stations. Uh, idea wasn't popular. And also, you know, it's been used in the transit industry a little bit. There's been mixed success. In New York and Philadelphia, they had some sex success selling uh, naming rights to make a few million dollars a year. I'm not talking about a bonanza here. But in Boston, interestingly, in the Boston area, the transit system there tried to sell naming rights to nine stations and got no offers they found enticing. And also, th th there's going to be more digital advertising as a way to raise money and also we've seen it before even Fox 5 is sponsored where you wrap a, a metro bus yes. or trains with advertising. Yeah they've done a few train wraps they do it on buses a lot and they also do what are called station dominations we have an image of what that looks like if you walk into gallery place right now you'll see nationals red all over the place. Metro has 91 rail stations these station dominations are present in 12. The question the region's going to ask through the board which represents the region the 16 member board is how much advertising do we want in our transit system how hard up for money is Metro. Well, they are pretty desperate for cash. They're going to have another budget deficit next year. They hope that even maybe a few million dollars, if they go through with this, could make a difference in maybe not raising fares again. All right, Martin, Martin and Carol, thank you very much for making it here along the red line. A little sweat there. The red line yeah, was going a little yeah. slowly this morning here, but he, he made it. And yeah, the air conditioning's always been an issue. And guys, remember, some of the red line single tracking begins tonight uh, from 9 p.m. on as they uh, try to take care of the water leaks here along the red line, guys. Bob, I have a quick question, if you could relay it to Marty. Um, you know, in the yeah. past, in these other cities, uh, New York, et cetera, Philadelphia, where the naming rights actually worked and they tried it, if they did that, would they have to redo all the maps system-wide? Like, do they have to reprint everything for the system or just for those stations? That's a good, good question. Uh, Steve is asking, in, in the cities like Philadelphia, where they did the, yeah. the naming rights, did they have to redo all the maps and, you know, System wide, so that the, the, the names are attached. If you're getting on the silver line, that you know that the red line at Gallery Place is Verizon Center Station. Yeah, presumably that if you're buying big into having your state, your commercial name on a station, you're going off at that be represented all across the system, right? All this would come down to any potential contract that's signed uh, between Metro, if they go ahead with this, and a big corporate entity. But um, Riders don't like long station names. That's another issue here. They want them short. They want them to be wayfinders. So when you get off the train, you know exactly where you're going. But Metro's already added a few Wait. names that haven't been purchased, like Kennedy Center, to Foggy Bottom, have people scratching their heads there, too. Good point. Martin, thank you. Steve, good question, man. All right. Thanks, Bob. I mean, look, you, you, you hate to see Metro is going to take in $10 million, but then they're going to spend $9.5 million to reprint everything right, that right. they've yeah, ever right, done, right, and right, then right. the money doesn't go where it needs to go. So. All right. All right, wait we shall see. see. All right.